Hey guys, welcome to Data with RK. Today we will see the difference between filter and parameter in Tableau. So here we go. The first difference between filter and parameter is that filter helps you to restrict or extract required data, whereas parameter helps you to replace hard-coded value with a dynamic value. So let the, let's see this difference with the live example. So I have connected my Tableau with the sample superstore data and I have plotted category and subcategory by sales in my view. So as we can see, we have the three categories, right? And out of which I just want to display or, sh or showcase office supplies data, right? So what I will do, I will put the category in the filters and I will select the value for office supplies. And with the help of filter, I can see the data only for office supplies, right? So whereas I have the same view in my sheet two, and I want to see the top 10 subcategories by sales so what I will do I will put my subcategories in the filter pane and I will say top and by field and I will say top 10 right so once I select ok for top 10 so I can see this top 10 subcategories by sales but whereas my top 10 has become hard coded value right so let me do it a dynamic value so I can do that with the help of a parameter so let's say I am creating a parameter over here and I'm giving that parameter a name as enter top n let's say sub categories right and I will say all and I will say okay and I will say show parameter so as you can see on my right hand side if I'm changing my top n subcategories values in the parameter so the view is changing as well right so I can input my value so I am not hard coding the value in my filter. So that is the first difference between filter and parameter. So next difference, you cannot use filter in calculated fields, but you can use parameter in calculated field or fields. Yeah, that's correct. So as we can see, this is the filter pin, right? So we simply drag the required dimension or the measure in the filter, and we cannot use that further in the calculation part. Whereas let's say, let me clear this one. So let's say I have a category and subcategory as well and I'm plotting this view let's say this time on the basis of quantity and I'm creating one parameter let's say I'm creating a parameter for category so I will say a category parameter okay and show parameter right so what I'm doing now I'm making one calculated field so I'll give the name for that calculated field as category right and I will simply say a category equals to category parameter right and we say okay and drag this in the filter pane and I will say true so with the help of parameter I can make the changes right and I can use this category parameter in the calculation where I have used in my category filter calculation part so this is another difference so let me clear this view again and we will move to the next difference so we can select multiple values from filter right but parameters are always single selection meaning you cannot select multiple values in parameter yeah that's true so let's say we have this category parameter right and i am saying show parameter so as you can see at a time i can select only one value that if I am able to select furniture, I won't be able to select office supplies and technology, right? Whereas I can select only one value from the parameter. So let's say I am dragging my category in the filters, right? And I am saying all and I am saying show filter. So as you can see, I can select multiple values, right? I can select office supplies or technologies, right? Or I can select furniture and office supplies at a time. So I can select multiple values in the filter but whereas parameter is always a single selection so that is another difference between filter and parameter next one you cannot enter manual value in list of values of filter you can use or enter manual values in your parameter yes correct so let's say again we will go to the category and we will create a parameter on or, or we already have the uh, parameter created for our category right so we have the category parameter and we can see all these three values right furniture office supplies technology let's say i'm adding one more of uh, category here let's say as a electronic right 
so I can do that and if I say show parameter I will get that value in my parameter so you can see a electronic so electronic this manual value is added in my parameter so I have the liberty to do that in parameter right but let's say here is our category filter right so you can see I cannot add or cannot customize the list of values in my filter right you can clearly see I can see only those three values which are coming up from my database right so let me drag this one in the rows and yeah so you can see I am able to get only these three list of values in my filter but whereas I can I can put a manual value in my category parameter so that's another difference the last difference between filter and parameter is there are different types of filters in Tableau such as extract filter, data source filter, quick filter, context filters etc. Whereas you can create a parameter based on dimension and measures or you can create a dynamic parameter as well. Yeah, correct. So as you could see, if I click on my data source, I can create an extract connection. That means I can use this as an extract filter. That is, I, I can connect, I can extract the data from my database whereas I have the data source filter. For example, again, I will take the category right here and I want to take the data only for technology. So as you can see, in my sheet level now, I will be having the data only for category, not for other one because I have restricted the data at the data source level. So that is another deal. That is a, another type of filter we have. Then we have this normal filter that we are using, right? Office supplies. Right. I can right click on it and I can say show filter. So this is our normal filter. Correct. Even I can use this category filter as a let's say context filter. Correct. So these are different types of filters available in Tableau. Whereas I can create a parameter on any of the dimension or any of the major as well. Right. So let's say this time we are creating a major on sales, which is my parameter, uh, which is my major value. So as you can you could see here I can get the range I can get the least or I can get the all right and I can put the whatever value that I want so that is a different story for parameter and let's say I'm creating one parameter that is a dynamic parameter let's say so I can say a dynamic parameter and let's say I'm selecting as a string right and I'm creating a list so I can put the values of my choice here let's just I'm saying sales I am saying as a category right now I cannot put the category over here because sales is my major and category is a dimension so I have to put only one thing over here so let's say I'm putting sales profit right and then quantity right so I can create this dynamic parameter as well where I can showcase the value of or I can display the columns in the parameter right so all together these are the major difference between filter and parameter thank you for watching our video please let us know your questions in the comment section and please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you